Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's talk about my favorite browser, the Brave browser. It is built upon Chrome, and I love this browser, and the main reason is it blocks ads for me. It blocks ads on YouTube. It just blocks them. You don't have to do anything. It'll block the ad. I can watch any YouTube video and not see any ads. I mean, if the channel has embedded ads that they do for self-promotion that's fine i don't care about that but any youtube ads i do not see them when i use the brave browser and it's kind of weird when i then go to like another device or something and i have to bring up chrome or even the youtube app on a device like an ipad or iphone or a smart tv the ads come up and i go what is this stuff and I look at the uh, the ads, and I haven't seen ads. I don't watch TV, network TV, the crap that's on. And you see these ads, you're going, "What is this junk?" And you just realize you, you just realize how much you do not miss ads. I remember one time we went on vacation, stayed a, you know stayed in a hotel before we went to our, our final destination. And I bought, uh, I turned on Discovery Channel and watched The Gold Rush. I used to like that show. It was 99% ads, commercials. I'm like, this is unwatchable. And then when they come back from the commercial, they would rehash the last two minutes of what you watched before the commercial kicked in. I hate ads. I hate it. So anyway, Brave is set up for the user where you are rewarded and you get the choice to watch an ad. And it'll put up a notification on the browser. Let me get rid of this, sorry. Uh, it'll put up a notification on the browser that you, hey, here's a new ad and you can set the frequency like 10 an hour, five an hour, and you click on it, a new tab opens and you have the choice whether to look at the ad or not. Like if you look at this one, so this one popped up earlier, boom, this is just one of the ads. So what happens when it pops up for me, the little notification slides out over here, I say, okay, boom, kablamo, thank you. And I just go right back to what I was doing and I get paid in crypto, which crypto? Brave has its own crypto. It's called BAT, B-A-T, Brava Alpha Tango, uh, basic authentication token. And uh, it's not doing too bad, actually. Um, I got in years ago and when this came out, and I think I've been doing this for three, two to three years with Brave. And I just love the privacy part of it. You're not the client. So when stuff is free, like when you get Chrome and all these browsers, you're the product. Because they're mining information. They're mining everything you're doing. And they're, uh, they're, sending that info out to other things, you know, to advertisers and stuff. Whereas Brave, you get the choice if you want to watch these ads and stuff like that. So you have that choice and you get rewarded for watching these ads. Like if I were to watch that one, boom, I, I collect the bat crypto. Like here, one just popped up right here. See that? So if I click on it, watch. Oh, here's an ad. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that's one of the ads. Now I actually just got rewarded for watching that ad or clicking on it you don't have to read it they don't care i mean i looked at it i clicked boom i went back right back to my article and over here is your reward center and you can pop click on the triangle to see where you're at and you can tie into their wallet or another wallet i'm tied into some other wallet and every month i get a payout like right now i got one i mean geez look at that 93 83.893 bat which is about 93 uh, bucks, not bad for just clicking on a freaking notification, passive, you know, sort of passive income. I had to click that tired my hand out a little bit, you know, but again, I got paid. So, and you can tip other users that you like if they're set up to use Brave and accept rewards. You can say, like here, verified creator, CryptoRUs.com. I can tip them, give them a couple back. Say, hey, I love your content. It's kind of a neat little reward system. You get paid for watching the ad. If you like other people or YouTube channels, I think you could set up your YouTube channel to receive bat tokens. So you don't have to rely on the monetization by the overlords at YouTube. You can just say, hey, I accept basic authentication token. You like my content, boom, thank you. You give them a tip and then that guy gets a couple of uh, uh, bat tokens in his wallet. It's kind of neat how that works. So I saw this article and I think this is from today and today let's just get it into a uh, frame here. It is January 7th, about midnight. So we just flipped over to January 7th. Uh, the year is starting off fast, get through January. I do not like January. I just want it to go by quick. It's kind of the blah month where you're just glad Christmas is over and now you're kind of 
back at work. It's a new year and we got to refer taxes. Yeah, it's one of those months. So just hoping it gets through. So here we are with Brave, reading through this, uh, trying to think what else is of importance. So I saw this article and um, it says Brave browser just passed a massive milestone. I said, okay, whatever. I've been using Brave quite a bit. And I've been collecting their tokens in a way by, you know, clicking on ads and stuff. And I even bought Brave outright and it's gone up. And it wasn't just kind of hovering at 25 cents. I mean, this is nothing. This is, this is what happens with crypto. You get lazy and complacent. And I sold it at 25. I, I go away. I look a week or two, two weeks. I'd say within two weeks, the thing shot up to a buck. And I'm like, never sell. Never sell the crypto unless you're starving to death and you need the money to feed yourself. Never sell your crypto. And that was my hard lesson learned. And I even did that with Ethereum. I had a, like couple ethereum and then once i sold it it was at 1300 the thing shoots up to 4000 like, that's it i'm never selling crypto again i was i just can't win man everything i do whatever i sell boom the thing's gonna shoot to the moon i have litecoin i want to dump that turd so bad but uh i know once i once i dump litecoin it's gonna go to a million dollars a share you know a coin and i i'm, I'm not gonna do it it's crazy I maybe mean, i should dump half I don't know. Do you see how it works? I'm sure this is everyone says the same thing, but it's just crazy. So anyway, I love the Brave browser. I suggest everyone get on board. You can watch any YouTube video without ads popping up and not just YouTube, any website. It's amazing. You go to any website and it's, I, I'll go to Chrome now and then because I use Chrome for some certain things. I don't know. I can't remember why. And I see all these ads plastered all over these websites. I go, what is this stuff? Then I, I realized, oh, I've been using Brave for a long time. It kind of protects your identity. You can go incognito mode. You can do more stuff as well, just to hide your identity. Um, but then I, I realized Brave is my friend. It has blocked out all that crap, trying to sell me crap and track, put, put uh, cookies on my browser. Uh, it even prevents the JavaScript where you go to mining pools and people will kind of hijack your browser and embed JavaScript and try to mine through your browser. It, it detects all that stuff and blocks it. It's a, it's a good browser. I swear by it. If you watch the guy, I forgot the, the uh, head of Brave. He was on um, the Best Business Show, uh, Pop, Pop Show. He was on there. The guy just talks like he's f just for the, f for the user, protect the user. You're the, you're the user. You should get rewarded, not the other way around. You shouldn't be force fed ads. You shouldn't be rewarded for watching ads. So let's go through this. The Brave browser continues its quest to overtake Google Chrome. It's built upon Google Chrome's. So there you go. But it's not going to be easy. Does Brave stand a chance? This is what their latest numbers tell, tell us. I just don't think people know enough about it. I, I don't know how I came about it. I, I think I heard someone like this video a couple of years ago say, use Brave, it's private, and then they don't bomb, bomb you with ads. And I said, all right, I tried it. And said, hey, like with anything, you use it long enough, that's all you use. So that's all I really use now is the Brave browser. Uh, let's just read together. Brave browsers, milestone, decentralized web browser, Brave, announced today that they have reached 50 million active users. I'm one of them. And this is as part of their year-end release made available on their website. This is the fifth year in a row that the Brandon Ike-led browser has doubled its users, user base. So look at, look him up and look him up and watch his videos and how he talks about Brave and the browsing and the internet. It's, it's refreshing. It is really refreshing. All right, what does he say? Passing 50 million users is a tremendous milestone for our company. It is also a powerful confirmation of the global movement underway led by users seeking alternatives to the surveillance economy. See, he knows they're watching one of these browsers. It's like, Google, why is Gmail free? Why is the browsers always free? Why are they giving you all this free stuff? If it's free, look around, then you're the product. It is as simple as that. I mean, you, you are being mined for data. And LinkedIn is bad too. Never use LinkedIn. They're horrendous. And they even say it in their um, terms of service, they will sell your information Everything you put in LinkedIn on that browser in their forms is sold out to third parties to monitor and sell you crap and just find behavioral patterns and stuff like that. What are you going to do next? It's kind of creepy. So that's why I went to Brave. That's why I stopped using LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, all that crap. It's just toxic. 
Anyway, oh, we got another one. Look, see one popped up right here. If I click on her, kablammo. And there's the ad. You go through, eh, all right, whatever. Next gen crypto tracking dashboard. Oh, okay. That may be of interest. I'll leave it up. And maybe if I time, I go back and look at it. But let's get back to the article. Anyway, these are impressive numbers considering Brave was founded in 2015. However, they are still incredibly far behind Google Chrome. No crap. I mean, come on. Google has uh, the uh, corner on advertising forcing people to say, hey, use this Chrome. Chrome's better than Edge, which it is. Okay, Brave's browser offers users a different experience from the one they get from the dominant Google Chrome. Remember Google used to have in their tagline in their business, do no, do, don't be evil or be, don't, you know, don't be evil. And they kind of took that out and now they're evil. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you can look that up. You might be able to Google that. Google used to be do no evil and now that's gone from their mission statement and they now have become completely evil. <laughs> anyway, not only is the browser more private, it also offers users choice with how they interact with ads. That's what I just showed you right there, real time. Boom, you saw it, it worked, and I get I will get credit for those ads as in, by um, receiving that crypto in my Brave browser, then each month it gets paid out to my wallet. I don't have to worry about it. Then you report it on your taxes, it's a um, reward, and the cost basis is whatever the cost of the token was at the date you, re you received it. So if you're using a tracking software like Cointracking.info, you can just upload, so I use Uphold Wallet for this crap, right? You can uh, upload the transactions to Cointracking.info and they're in there now and they'll actually map all the stuff, the uh, date you got the reward and the price of the BAT token at the time you got the reward. So it is a reward. The cost basis is the price of the token at the time you were you were, you were uh, paid the reward. It's like getting a BlockFi credit card rewards for using their uh, BlockFi crypto visa, their Bitcoin crypto card. Uh, you get paid in Bitcoin. And when you get those rewards each month, it's the same thing. You just say, hey, I got this reward. You put it on your taxes. Hey, I got, you know, 0 0.00001 Bitcoin, which is five cents, right? And then it's tracked. So there's certain good ways to track it. Yeah, not a bad passive income. Uh, let's see, the operative experience, the viewing ads, or you can turn them off entirely. Yeah, I just leave them up because I, I like to get some kind of, a couple bucks here adds up, you know what I mean? Like look, just for clicking ads, I'm at 90 bucks and that's over a year or so. I mean, it's nothing much, but it's something, right? And the hope is that you have the token like with mining, you're, you're mining the token, you're getting, you know, you're collecting and stacking coins. The hope is that the price of the crypto is going to go up. So first you earn it, you hold it, and then you hope the price goes up and you more than double, triple, quadruple. That's my plan. That's the goal. You're just kind of harvesting coins and crypto in the hopes it goes up, right? Uh, let's see. It's been a busy year for Brave. Throughout the year, the browser has added several new products and partnerships like their Solana DeFi integration and their new search engine beta. Yeah, I'm using their search engine. I like it because Google has been caught recently munging search results on terms they did not approve of in their ideology or whoever's paying their you know, salaries. And it's kind of shady when you see it. It's like, come on, Google. It's like you said, don't be evil like you guys were founded upon. But when they're actually actively changing search results real time and people are catching them based on some query that was on a podcast, it makes you wonder what's going on at Google. Are they really that evil and who's backing them? It's just, it's just shady crap. So that's why I like Brave and then the other people are coming out with search engine, DuckDuckGo, uh, and then the Brave has their uh, search engine made a version. Just something to consider. If you don't care about that crap, you don't care about companies being nefarious with the data, then I don't know, that's not something new, but I kind of like an honest level playing field when it comes to like this whole internet. But I know it, that's a little bit unrealistic, but we see Brave trying to get there and they see the problem with the internet right now and they're trying to find a solution. Okay, let's go on. Now we talk about the bat. This is the bat token price action. And look at that, this little puppy, this little puppy, I mean, I had it. Yeah, this is, I wish I could go, this is a, this is a, whoa, I just broke it. Okay, <laughs> this is a PNG, I thought it was an interactive map. So I had it a long time, or a couple years, and it was down to the point, 
point oh ten, eighteen cents up to twenty five. I go, this thing's not going anywhere. Dumped it, and this thing shoots up to like a buck. I'm like, oh my god, what have I done? And that's where I just kind of ran it earlier. Do not sell unless you are starting to know. Um, yeah, look where it's at now. I mean, even with the down market, which is right here, come blammo. Look at the sea of red folks getting a little nervous. We're getting into the big dip country. Dip, big dips mean what? Buy, 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 buy. So, right, let other people freak out and sell. This is really getting kind of lower. Getting kind of low. And this is uh, January 7th, 12 a.m. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to go below 40. Huh. Well, who knows? Who cares? All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the Brave Browser. Okay, BAT is down 8% in the last 24 hours and in the $1.18 USD range, though it struggles are shared by the rest of the market. Yeah, come on. You just saw what I popped up. Everything's red, so don't just pin it on BAT, uh, which is down over 5% based on, on the Fed minutes. Yeah, this is a recent article. Uh, it's of uh, January 6th. So, yeah, once that Fed minutes came out, which is suspect that they waited to the uh, 6th or 5th, the 5th to release them when they had the meeting middle of December, makes you wonder, come on, they're playing you. So um, they release those minutes and all of a sudden everything starts tanking, the tech market, the uh, equities, and then crypto. What's going on here? I am surprised that crypto is so tied to anything that Fed says. So that in itself is raising a red flag of being like, wait a minute, uh, I hope this isn't the case where crypto is tied to whatever the Fed says, because that means we're all being played. I hope that's not the case. Anyway, that's just my paranoia right there. So let's go back to the bat. Overall, the bat token is a far stranger place than where it was uh, three months ago when it was trading below 70 cents. Yeah, a stranger place, stronger place. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read ahead. Hey, I got another ad. Let's click on it. So this is an ad for Bittrex. Trade beyond the trend on Bittrex. See, the, the ads are actually legitimate companies, legitimate exchanges, legitimate crypto. So it's not just crap ads. They're actually ads that you might be interested in. You know, you don't have to look at them. So you can set the frequency to be zero or one an hour. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go on. That is pretty much it. I just wanted to bring you guys up to attention. I keep harping on the Brave browser. I love the Brave browser. Go download it. I don't have to worry about this one. Make a, I'll have to make a video about Monero too. Uh, but I think the Brave Browser, you, you all will do yourself a service by downloading the Brave and start using it and kind of wean yourself off Chrome. Keep using Chrome now and then, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But uh, now go make it a point to watch your YouTube videos on Brave. And you'll say, oh my gosh, I don't have to sit through three minutes of commercials or as I'm watching a sailing YouTuber and he's out with his uh, bikini babes. Oh no, they just cut away to a... A YouTube ad which makes you know some pharmaceutical ad which I don't really care about and uh, now brave will take care of all that you don't even see any of that and what's cool as you watch the video you can look at the timeline and you'll see the hash marks on say say you're watching a 40 or 30 to 40 minute video you'll see all the hash marks spaced out where the ads that YouTube will insert and play when you're watching brave and you're, you're watching YouTube you don't see any of that stuff it's beautiful it just keeps playing I'm telling you, you don't even have to pay for the YouTube Red or anything. Just get the Brave and you'll be good to go. Try it. Check it out. I don't get anything out of it. There's no affiliation. There's no referral fee. I'm just trying to spread the wealth and say what works for me, what I think other people will like, and it kind of make your browsing experience profitable, a little more enjoyable, and uh, a little more private. All right, so there you go. That is the Brave. Check it out. This is on CryptosRUs.com. That's the site I got this from. And if you have any questions about it, post it below. If you like Brave Browser, post it in the comments below. And uh, let's get her going. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, man. Give me a thumbs up. I know YouTube's going to hate this video. I am not monetized. Here I'm talking about a browser, which actually blocks the ads where they make money. But I don't care. I'm doing this to help the community and help my fellow internet kryptonauts. All right. I'm out, guys. Take care.